When you're working in AutoCAD Electrical, you need to set up your project work file. Your project work file is stored in a .wdp file, and what you would do is you would save that project work file to the folder that you need to save it to. In this case, I'm going to save it to this file and folder here, Drawings. And you can see I've already got an IEC Module 2 folder set up. Now we're going to set up an IEC Module 1. We're using IEC, which is the European metric standard for this particular project. So I'll click on OK there now. There's my IEC Module 1. Now the reason I jumped into that without going down through all the path for the folder and everything is just to save time. As you can see, that path is quite long, and I don't want to click, 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 and drag all the way through. Very boring to watch, and it's not what we need to do right now. So that's all set up. What I want to do now is click on OK Properties. That allows me now to set up the properties of my actual WDP file. So you can see here I've got various options that I can set up, things like electrical standards and so on, components. So there's my tag format, sequential. So I might set that up to be 001, for example. My wire numbering, definitely 001 there. That's what I tend to use. And then I increment that. Cross references, styles. So you've got arrowhead styles and PLC styles and wiring styles. And then also your drawing format, things like ladders that we set up and format referencing and everything else, inches, millimeters, and so on. It's all in there. So I can OK all of that, and that will now set up my IEC Module 1 project there. So everything is now in my WDP file. So that's my project file set up. What I need to do now is go to Open, and in that project file, I need to install a drawing. So let's go for our contents drawing first of all. Let's install that as drawing 1. So I'll open that drawing up. There's my contents drawing right there. And what I'm going to do now is obviously employ that into my project. And the way to do that is you right click over the project and add the active drawing. Do you want to apply the project default values? Those are the ones we've just set up in the WDP file. So you click on yes. That will update the drawing accordingly. So everything is now set up. And now that drawing is part of your project. So that WDP file now knows that that drawing is set up in the project, but more importantly, the drawing is now using the project properties that you set up, things like the wiring tags and the PLC tags and so on. So that's how you set up your WDP file. You set up a new project, select a folder for the project, open up the drawing to go into the project, add that active drawing to the project, and you're ready to go. That's the first part of your project setup. When using AutoCAD Electrical and Projects, you need to utilize the Project Manager. Now, at the moment, I've got AutoCAD Electrical open with just a blank drawing. I haven't actually got the Project Manager running. What I can do is I can go up here to the Quick Access Toolbar, click there, that opens up the Project Manager, and we can see that the current project is our IEC Module 1 that we set up previously. I can close the Project Manager by highlighting the Project Manager bar there and clicking on the cross. I can also go to the Project tab and click on Manager, and that will open up the Project Manager as well. Now, the nice thing about the Project Manager is it gives you a lot of tools that allow you to work within your AutoCAD electrical project. So, for example, I can go here to this bar of icons. I can click on Open Project and go and find my WDP file that we've already set up. I don't need to open from a WDP file. I've already got a current project running, so I can cancel that. I can also go here, New Project, and set a new one up, give it a name in that box there, go and find the location, copy the settings from the project file. Again, I don't need to do that. I can cancel that because we've already got a current project running. What I can set up here is a new project drawing. So I can give the drawing file a name. Now, the nice thing about this is I can put this straight into my project. So I might go something like IEC-Panel001. I can browse for a template, so I might just use, let's say, the AutoCAD Electrical IEC template there. I'll open that up there using that template. I can add other descriptions to it as well in the project. I can put the project code, the installation code, the location code. I can even link drawings to where the installation and the location are, or even pull from other projects if I need to. It may be that you've got a multi-project environment on a large construction project, let's say. 
and each separate project might be a separate building to give you an example. Sheet values. So let's give this sheet 001 value, like so, because it's panel 001. You might want to put a drawing number as well, like so. Sheet and drawing I'll keep the same. I'll click on OK there now. And what that does is ask me if I want to apply the project default values. Yes, I do. So I'll apply those. There's my new drawing. And it updates and adds that panel drawing straight to the project. That's what I love about the manager. It's quick and easy and effective. We can actually refresh the project. It may be that people are working on other drawings in the project. What I can also do here is do a project-wide update retag. So if I do that, I might need to change components, component cross-referencing. I might need to wire tag, number, and signal tag and retag. I can go and set all of this up if I want to from a project level rather than a drawing level. What I can also do is publish and plot projects in their entirety if I want to. And I can also check the drawing list display configuration. So I can specify what gets displayed in the list. Things like installation code, location code, section, subsection, sheet number. I'm not displaying the sheet number right now. Let's add that as well. And I'll OK that now. As soon as I do that, there's the drawing title and there's the sheet numbers. Can you see even the contents has a sheet number? It's 01. So that's what your project manager allows you to do. It allows you to work with your project, with your drawings, and all your project settings and definitions that you need to apply in the project itself.